In this tutorial, I'll show you how to write a Python script that makes a mesh model vertex by vertex and face by face. And I'll show you how to add the model to the Add Mesh menu. Change the layout to scripting. Drag to make the text editor window bigger. In the templates menu, Python, add on, add object. Press X to delete the cube. Click the Run Script button. In the Add Mesh menu, there is now a new option, Add Object. And when I click it, added to the scene is an object called New Object Mesh. It has four vertices and one face. The Blender info is the information about the add-on displayed in the user preferences. The name of the add-on, the category, the description, location, author and version. I'm going to jump ahead and change it. I've changed new object to add brick and I've changed the author's name. To simplify the script, I'm going to delete the scale facility. You'll still be able to scale the brick in the object properties panel. Delete these lines. Notice that in this line it uses the float vector property. Delete these lines. So we don't need the float vector property in this line anymore. Delete all the scaling factors. I'm going to jump ahead and delete the rest. For the top face of the brick, all four vertices will have a Z value of 0.3 above the ground plane. I want the brick to be long in the X direction and narrow in the Y direction, so set the Y values to 0.5 and minus 0.5 Click the Object Properties button, press X to delete the new object, click the Run Script button, in the Add menu, Mesh, add the new object, and we get the top face of the brick. The bottom four vertices will be the same as the top four vertices, except for the Z value will be minus 0.3. So if I copy the vertices, and paste them. I need to set the Z values to minus 0.3. The bottom face will be made up of the fourth, the fifth, the sixth and the seventh vertex going around in the same direction. Press X to delete the top face. Click the Run Script button. In the Add menu, Mesh, Add Object, and we get the top and bottom face of the brick. I've drawn a sketch showing the numbering of the vertices. We can see the top face is 0, 1, 2, and 3, and the bottom face is 4, 5, 6, and 7. The end face is 0, 4, 7, 3, and the other end face is 1, 5, 6, 2. I have jumped ahead and put the faces in, the 0, 4, 7 and 3, and the 1, 5, 6 and 2. Press X to delete the top and bottom face. Run the script. In the Add menu, Mesh, Add Object, and we get the end faces. I have jumped ahead and added the side faces. They are 0, 1, 5 and 4 and 3, 2, 6 and 7. Deleting the four faces and running the script. Now when we add the object we get six faces. The next line of code creates a new mesh data block and gives it the name New Object Mesh. We're working at the underlying mesh level and by default the name of the mesh data block 
is the same as the name of the object. I'm going to rename it brick. The next line of code uses the from Python data method to add the geometry of the brick to the mesh data block. The geometry consists of the positions of the vertices and how the vertices form faces. They are stored in arrays that are passed to the method. The next line of code uses the object data add method which is a method of the class add object helper. The method creates an object from the mesh data block at the current position in the current layer. There is a line of code that has been made into a comment, a validation method that will validate the mesh, checking the geometry for errors. If I run the script, and delete the old object and add mesh add object we get an underlying mesh called brick an object called brick and if I toggle the system console the mesh has been validated without any errors once we know the mesh is valid we don't need the lines anymore next is the class definition for a new operator that will add a brick. The name of the operator I'm going to change to mesh add brick and the label which would be displayed on a button if the operator were placed in a panel to add brick. In the class definition, there is an execute method that is called automatically. In the method, there is a call to the add object function. In the definition of the add object function is the code that adds the brick. Looking at the rest of the code, there's a function that links to the Blender manual. I'm going to delete it and delete the line that registers the function and delete the line that unregisters the function. When the register function is called, our new class is registered and a new option is added to the add mesh menu. The details of the new menu option are specified in the add object button definition. It links to the new operator and I'm going to change the text displayed to brick and the icon to the view 3D icon. Now when we run the script and delete the old brick and add mesh we see the new text and the new icon. I've made one more change to the script. I've made the brick slightly smaller. The X value was 1, the Y value was 0.5 and the Z value was 0.3. Slightly smaller so the bricks can fit together without overlapping. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file and the finished script for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.